Hey, it's Kelly Raspberry with your Showbiz Top 5. Number 5. Vanity Fair put together a list of the highest paid creative people in Hollywood last year. Coming in number 1, director James Cameron with $257 million. Way down the list was a little bit more interesting to me, though. Taylor Lautner out-earned both Robert Pattinson and Kristen Stewart. How? Because some very important people in Hollywood have a lot riding on his box office potential outside of the Twilight movies. Last year, he earned $33.5 million, while Kristen earned $28.5 million, and Robert only $27.5 million. Number four. President Obama has invited Jennifer Lopez and Mark Anthony to watch the Super Bowl with him and his wife at the White House on Sunday. Reportedly, they've been friends ever since they met in the Oval Office a year and a half ago. Number three. Jennifer Aniston all over the place right now promoting her movie Just Go With It. And she told Oprah that years ago, she was offered a job as part of the cast of Saturday Night Live. But at the same time, she was also offered this part on this new comedy called Friends. I think she made the right choice. Number two. Charlie Sheen issued a statement basically thanking the cast and crew of Two and a Half Men and his fans for their support. And then strangely, he ended his statement by comparing himself to an old movie star, saying, like Errol Flynn, who had to put down his sword on occasion, I just want to say thank you. So what is it with Errol Flynn? Well, years ago, Errol had quite a reputation for partying hard and hooking up with lots of women, young women. And later he became involved with a 15-year-old girl. The two eventually became engaged, but Errol died of a heart attack at age 50. His fiance, 17. Number one. Lindsay Lohan caught on store surveillance video wearing that $2,500 necklace she's accused of stealing. Now, in Lindsay's defense, she says the store owner gave her permission to borrow that necklace. Too bad there's no audio on the surveillance video. But her main defense is, this guy knew exactly where she lived and knew how to get in touch with her, but never called about bringing the necklace back. Good point, Lindsay. Well, it's up to the DA now whether or not to press charges. And that's your Showbiz Top 5. Kid Craddock in the morning.